Hello, hello, this is Princess Woosh, and today I'm playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. i um, doing a spot of diving, which will be quite good fun. Um, I'm doing quite well on the diving front. I have got all of these. Um, I'm still missing a few that I can get in the Northern Hemisphere. I've even got a couple from Southern Hemisphere, like the, the lobster. Um, but yeah, there's still a few bits and pieces for me to get. Thanks, Melba. Just stand right in front of me while I'm doing my intro. That's fine. Um, but yeah, we're, go we're gonna go diving. If you've not been diving yet, there's a few ways to acquire the special item you need to go diving. Uh, and that is the wetsuit. Um, so, the basic one from the shop looks like that. It's really cute. It's got a little anchor on it. And I think Tom Nook maybe sends you this snorkel. I can't remember. That was like a whole three days ago. Um, so you've got that one. Um, with Nook Miles, you can buy it in the gift novelty section of that menu. You've got this one, which is a bit more, a bit more sporty. Um, and you also have, which I don't have to hand, but I have ordered. In the special goods, there's also like a leaf print one. Kind of looks like a hoodie and shorts. Um, not such a big fan of that one. Not sure about the colours. Uh, but that's fine. No bother. Uh, so yeah, three different wetsuits you can get to go s to go diving. Punchy! My god. <laughs> go be an aeroplane somewhere else. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, but yeah, so this is my little, my little diving outfit for today. I coordinate my, my hair flower and my shoes. Uh, there's different ways to enter the water. I'm going to show you them because they're fun as well. There is way number one, which is just slump. Um, pretty fun. Just like f flopping into the water. Uh, it's not the best way though. The best way is this way. So when you're holding them down B to run, if you can sort of awkwardly tap A at the same time, you do this. Whee! Cannonball! <laughs> You can do it off the airport pier, you can do it off um, your normal pier, you can do it off the rocks. Uh, it is a much more fun way to enter the water. Um, yeah, Swimming is A and diving is Y I think. We'll do a little dive here. So when you dive underwater there'll be a little black shadow. You just have to swim up to it and then you get some crappy sea grapes. <laughs> Yeah, so what I'm looking for in this video is I'm looking for the Gygus clan. I'm gonna go Gygus because it sounds better than Gigas. Uh, Gygus clan. But I'm also missing a few others. Uh, I'm missing the horseshoe crab. Um, I'm also missing, I can't remember what it's called. It looks like a big grey ugly sausage roll. <laughs> Some sort of horrid sea cucumbery thing. Um, yeah, so that's most of what I'm missing. Ooh, it's a garden eel. Was it unspotted before I saw it? The puns are absolutely on point for these diving creatures as well. They're really funny. I like the anemone one. I won't say it until we find an anemone, which I think we will. I actually know the anemone bites bubbles as well. <laughs> The anemone and the seaweed have the same bubbles. Uh, but yeah, the diving's so relaxing. I just zone out and swim around my town for like an hour. Just swim, swim me down. It's real nice. And if it's night, recommend this. Go look up um, REM's uh, night swimming. <laughs> Super atmospheric. Uh, and a great song. I love that song. Uh, but it's day swimming today and they didn't have a song called that so I won't put any copyright infringing music on. Ugh, mossy grapes. I'm getting sour about these grapes. But yeah, you just swim towards the, l the little bubbles. Um, usually you can kind of tell what you're in for before you get there. If the bubbles are just kind of sitting there, it's probably something common and rubbish that doesn't move. All the good fish are fast. <laughs> Although I think they mostly start moving. See, that's got quite a lot of bubbles. 
That could be a CN enemy. Nope, got it. I oh, know. It's a uh, seaweed. CN enemies and seaweed have pretty much that same really rapid bo bubble pattern. Whereas this you can see has a really sort of infrequent bubble pattern. Where, is that outside the gate? You're not allowed outside the gate. A gate? There's no gates. The sea netting. I got a pearl oyster. Uh, one thing I've never ever found in in uh, this is a pearl. I've actually been given two of them by Pascal instead of furniture recipes. Uh, but I've not found any on the seafloor. You're quite big, but you're not moving. Maybe you're a sea anemone. Yeah, there we go. Are you ready? I got a sea anemone. The enemy of my anemone is my frenemy. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it. There's some bubbles over here too. Oh, these are like- oh gosh, look that's fast. Do you see it move? Oh my gosh, get back here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Right, I'm not catching it. If you don't catch it straight away, you come back up to the um, surface. So I'm gonna try and gain on it on the surface for a little bit. Wham! Get here, you sneaky. Uh, you're a good fish, I know you are, because you're so fast. Right, this is gonna, this is, this is what we've been looking for. Right, let's, yeah, let's get it in the corner. What are you gonna do now? Haha, <laughs> you stupid fast fish. <gasps> yes! Oh my god! This is, what is this, like, uh, five, six minutes in? This is a really rare clam. <laughs> Yay! Whoa, this is, I got a gigas giant clam. It's kind of a big deal. Kind of is. Yay! That is exactly what I was looking for. There we go. Yeah, I guess Gigas. Oh, that's so good. I'm so glad I found that. But you saw how fast it was. Uh, we honestly only really caught it because it was uh, backed into a corner. Um, you can end up chasing these things around your, your map for ages. <gasps> oh, it's a Gazami crab. I thought we had a twofer. I thought we had a horseshoe crab and a... And a... A uh, Gigas Clam. <laughs> Gigas Clam. G Clam. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. What a treat. What a treat. I tend to have quite good luck when I'm uh, when I'm capturing game footage. I should just capture footage all the time, and then I'll get all the all the Gigas clams. Gigas clams for days. There's some more frenemies. Ah, oh, what, what a treat! Uh, I think that leaves me two. Then I think it's the horseshoe crab and the weird sausage roll. This is moving. This has got some uh, mustard on it as well. Oh, come back! You have too much mustard. Where you go? Ah, oh, you're so far away. Can I trap you in the wall? Like, <laughs> got you. Oh my god! That was what I meant by the, the weird sea sausage roll. That is a... Gah! It's a giant isopod. When I said giant sausage roll, I meant giant isopod. It's a cr crustodian of the sea. Well, this is ridiculous. All I need now is a horseshoe crab, and that's me pretty much done with everything for now. I don't even think the horseshoe crab's that rare. It just doesn't like me. Oh my god. Talk about good luck. <laughs> so yeah, little little bit little tactic for these stupid fast fish. They get a little bit confused if you push them up against the uh, sea netting. So I definitely recommend sort of trying to back them against the the top. Don't just chase them in circles around your island. Man, so good. <laughs> you guys have to come with me every time I uh Every time I go fishing or diving. That's brilliant. Like, honestly, I've spent hours looking for both of those. Six minutes in, and we're like, yeah, sure. No bother. Cheeky, cheeky Gigas Clam, cheeky Isopod. Um, but yeah. 
they used to have this uh, diving in New Leaf, um, which I played a lot of as well. But it is considerably more fun in this. It's more fun diving around your own island. It was just a bit of a hassle in New Leaf, especially when I could be catching like tons of sharks for cash on Shark Cash Island. Are you moving a lot? You're moving like maybe you're an abalone. Oh no, you're a sea pineapple. Some of them move a little bit, but not a lot. What are you? I'm gonna dive now because I wanna see. Ooh, ooh, you're a speedy. Little little mustard on you. Oh, the pearl oyster. Yeah, they move a little bit. How are we doing? For space in my inventory. We've got about eight space. That's fine. We will go back. We will turn in we'll turn in the the gigas and the isopod. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get back here, speedy. Med medium speedy. Oh, it's more pearl oysters. So you don't actually get pearls from pearl oysters. That's one thing I, when I was diving, I was wondering. You only get them if you get a pearl. Are you moving? I can't tell. You're moving a little, aren't you? Do, do, do. Sea urchin. Wasn't even urchin for it. I wasn't. I've already got one. Had quite a lot. Ah. Oh, man, what what a good haul. What a good haul. Uh, last night I got a vampire squid as well. You can only get those after four o'clock though. What's that in the distance? Oh, it's a it's the, the little boy. Um with the little flag. Not a little boy like a small child. Like a sea boy. Right, let's get you. You're probably not very fast, you're not doing a lot of moving. <gasps> Got a scallop! Aw, oh, look who it is! Yes! Hello, Pascal! Hello! Hey, man! Is that that scallop of yours? Can I have it? Of course you can, Pascal, you, you treat! Whoa, thanks for your generosity, man! Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. I think Pascal and KK Slider are friends. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Now this is my favourite part. It's not the recipe he gives you. It's his little um, his little philosophy nugget for the day. Are you ready? Feel this. Dreams are like the greatest hits shows of your unconscious. Mostly old footage to save money. Stick that in your skillet and let it simmer. Yep, today is a good day. Pascal, you are bloody great. Now, um, I don't know if it will work because we saw him on the this side of the island. I'm going to keep swimming over. There he is. You can actually you kind of see him off if you follow him. Oh, he's already diverging because we're right at the edge of the island. He'll swim all the way along. Oh, do the thing. There we go. Look, look, he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing that otters do. Oh my gosh. I love Pascal. And then he just kind of swims away. Bye, Pascal. Oh, he's swimming that way. <laughs> uh, but you can follow him for a while and then he just kind of, then he kind of disappears. Way too cute. Oh, this is good. Things are going well. We've got good good dive things. We've got Pascal. And actually, there's another good thing on the beach that I noticed this morning that I've saved for the stream. So we'll also go see that too. Oh, come back, Pascal. I've got another for you. Uh, I wonder what he's given me. We'll check when we when we shore up. How many more? Three more. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with with my haul. <gasps> Shut up. Could could today get any more perfect? I don't think it could. 
Bloody hell. Like I said, I've not found any pearls so far just diving. Oh, this is amazing. What, what a great 15 minutes I've had so far. <laughs> Oh, it's my frenemy. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, I think I've got one space left, haven't I? Yeah. I'll probably find something on the way into Shaw. We might see the thing that I'm going to come back in a little while and interact with. Back now. Let's let's just let's just we'll leave it there. You'll probably accidentally see what I'm trying to not show you yet. Uh, oh no, nope, we got, we got away with it. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna hand them in one by one because I want to find out about my Gigas clam and my sea sausage roll. Was it isopod? <laughs> Blathers, wake up! Have I got a treat for you? Get those eyes open. Get these into your peepers. Oh my gosh. I would like to donate. Let's let's go in reverse order. So he'll be he'll be amazed by this giant isopod. Hooty hoo. Would I like some facts about it? Yeah, I would. What are we gonna learn? Growing to ooh, nearly twenty inches, the sea dwelling giant isopod is the world's largest cousin of the pill bug. I am definitely Team Blathers on how gross some of these things are. Ugh. Making matters worse for those of us who find the pill bug repulsive rather than cute. Yeah. That, oh, the giant isopod can swim shockingly fast and is known for its voracious appetite. In fact, it's most happy when dining on the carcasses of animals that have sunk to the bottom of the sea. This behaviour has earned it a nickname, the vacuum cleaner of the deep. Oh, I agree, Blathers. That's horrible. Right. Put that in there and I don't want to see it again. <laughs> it's terrifying. There is. Well, I've just got this, um... Just got this little... Little old, uh... Gagas clam! Boom! Woohoo! This is undoubtedly a Gigas giant clam! You may tell me all about my giant clam. <laughs> They live in warm water, oh, sorry, warm water coral reefs and are the biggest bivalves in the world. Growing as wide as six feet and weighing up to 600 pounds. Guessing that one doesn't weigh that much because I wouldn't have got it back to blathers. Uh, they can live to be 100 years old. And yes, these mighty creatures look as though they could eat a swimmer whole. But they eat plankton instead and get valuable nutrients from algae they live in symbiosis with. Indeed, these enormous gents get all the sustenance they need by lying face open with their shells, face up with their shells half open. If such was my life, I'd be happy as a clam too. Ah, oh, blathers, thank you. Are they in there now? I might go see. Show, oh, that's bugs. Show me the clams. Clam a lamb. Ah, I am happy as a clam. Found a pearl. Found a, a gigas clam. Found an isopod. Who cares about the the horseshoe crab? Or is it snowshoe crab? I've probably been calling it the whole thing. Uh, wrong thing. This whole video. Don't even care. Look, Lolly. Enjoy my fish. It's not in there, is it? You enjoying that lolly? It's ocean sunfish, mostly jellyfish. <laughs> it was me who caught it. <laughs> I get called Professor Pie by everyone. <laughs> everyone in my town. It's kind of cute. Professor Pie. Um. This was a great idea, except I don't actually know where any of the diving stuff is. Oh, actually, maybe it is down there. Or is it like, oh, like, is that decorating the sea floor? Is that? Yeah, the garden eels are there. The sea cucumbers are there. The mantis shrimp's there. 
Yeah, these guys. These guys are in here. Sea grapes, pearl oyster. There it is. Look at that big old, big old clam. And a lobster. <laughs> is that my giant isopod there? No, that's a sea cucumber. I already did this one. Bad. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Tiff. Clownfish, dungeon fish, butterfly fish, ribbony, and a polio fish. Tiger prom. Sea an enemy. Sea slug. Muscle. I'm not gonna go looking for the sea sausage roll. I didn't come here. I didn't come here for, for that. I came here for the clam. Uh, it's probably about somewhere. Not that bothered. There was a weird buggish thing stuck on the wall. Maybe it was that. Right. How do I get out of the museum again? I don't come in here that often. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there we go. Right. So, what recipe did I get? Let's come outside and we'll have a look. What did Pascal give me? Pascal gave me a mermaid closet. There we go, look. Okay. Mermaid closet. Because uh, I keep getting pearls off of Pascal. I've not actually got that much mermaidy furniture. Uh, let's try salt by series. There we go. So yeah, all I've, I think all I've got is um, like the mermaid closet. I thought I had... There we go. No, I have the, uh, the mermaid wall, the mermaid screen, the mermaid closet. And yeah, that's all. They're really nice. Um, they don't take too many pearls. That takes two, that takes two, that takes two. Um, so they're quite rare by the nature of the pearls being quite hard to get, but they're possible, you know, you could have an entire room decked out in mermaidy stuff. And it makes it a bit more challenging, it gives you something to aim for. Uh, right, so the last thing we're gonna do, since my, my Gygus clan hunt was so successful, is we're gonna go see a chap over here that I've not spoken to before. Well, say I haven't spoken to before. Here he is. <laughs> it's Pirate Gulliver. Gulliver. Why are you a pirate? Me nap time is me nap time. Yo ho, yo ho. Pirate sounds, etc. Get up. <laughs> you call that a sea bass? I give it a C minus at best. Yar. <laughs> C minus. Uh, right, get up, get up, get up. Come on. There we go. Gulliver. Ah, the buffet may be the end of me, lads. But I think I can tamp a bit m more peach cobbler down me gullet. Avast, where'd the buffet go? What trickery is this? Do ye even know who ye be messing with? I be Captain Gulliver. Legendary pirate feared for all manner of dreadful cold duggery. Ah. This is amazing. Oh, look, it's even changed his little tag to Gulliver. Now, where is the cruel matey who burst me buffet bubble? Was it ye? Ah, ye don't look very cruel. I suppose ye did me a favour. I might have gobbled up this whole beach. Ah, ye saved me stomach lining from a sandy demise. I'm not going to keep doing this. It's going to take ages. I know what Gulliver or Gulliver is like. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, do you still have a... Uh, you still have a handy dandy uh, communicator. I have realised something quite dumb though. Yep, yeah, this is this is Pete Gulliver. Yep. Yeah. I will help you find your can oh, I nearly clicked no. <laughs> oh it's in a nearby ocean. Swim about? Oh, I've got a dive to find it. I was going to say, um, my problem was I didn't have my shovel. I figured it was just going to be room in your pockets. You'd be blundering, you're plundering. Okay, cool. Um, my pockets be quite full, yar. So I better go empty them. Yeah, I thought I would have to dig for it, like the communicator parts. Oop, that's it, Ellen. <laughs> That's not how you get out of Fruit Tree Park. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. Quick, let's sell all this crap in my pockets. <laughs> I've only got about five minutes. Right, quick, quick. Boys, boys, I've got stuff for you. 
you can have all this junk, all this junk inside my trunk. I mean, where exactly am I keeping all these things? <laughs> I'm wearing a wetsuit. <laughs> kind of disturbing. Yep. You get good money for um for the sea creatures, by the way. That was 30 bell 30k bells. Um just for just some really basic y averagey ones. Which is not bad. If I needed money, I would be diving for it. Should we jump off the pier to find this communicator? You ready? You ready? Oop, wrong way. Ready um jump! Blum. So, handy dandy communicator parts. Only the handiest and dandiest will do. You are not handy dandy communicator parts. I wonder if I have to get parts or just his communicator. I wasn't really paying that much attention. I don't really <laughs> listen very much to Gulliver. <laughs> I don't mind him. He's fine. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. Oh, there it is. That's all I had to do. He just dropped it. It matches my um, my swimsuit as well. Easy peasy. So let's go give it in. Hello, Gulliver. Yar. <laughs> Yar and nar. <laughs> Arr. That's it. That's me, precious communicator. Aw. I thank ye with all my heart, matey. <laughs> the captain that makes things happen. <laughs> oh dear. Arr, that ought to put some wind in their sails and no mistake. You saved me life. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> He's great. I like Gulliver. Like, I know some people don't, but I mean, have you met Wisp? I've had Wisp at my town two nights in a row and it's just been miserable. I hate Wisp. Uh, Gulliver is fine. Gulliver gives you good items and Pirate Gulliver gives you pirate items. So in the morning I'm gonna get some sort of piratey thing like a cannon or a, a ship steering wheel. Uh, yeah, so that's really exciting. What a good time! Like, just under half an hour and I've done so much. I've gotten to uh, two good deep sea diving things, probably the two rarest deep sea diving things. Um, I am very pleased about this. There we go. I've gotten two deep sea diving things. I have put them in the museum. I've got another pearl. I've helped Gulliver. Uh, yeah, really good, really good uh, 25 minutes. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed this and you want to bring me more luck in the future, whoever you are, lucky person, um, subscribe to the channel, give me a like on the video if you liked it, and leave a comment. I'd love to know if you've met Gulliver, um, or if you've caught a Gigas clam. Uh, they're quite hard to find, but they're out there, so I'd love to know. Uh, I've been Princess Woosh, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye!